Hello everybody, my name is Roger and welcome to my channel Rogers Reads. So today I'm going to talk about series, a book series that I need to finish. So I'm usually pretty good at finishing series that I begin, though there are a few of them that fall through the cracks every now and then. So today I'm going to look at the series that I started and that I really need to finish or will not finish as the case may be. So the first one that I'm going to mention and one that I've uh, talked about already on this channel and that is the Mortal Instruments series by uh, Cassandra Clare. Okay, so I am on the finishing stretch with this one. I only have the uh, one more book, The City of Heavenly Fire to read, which I hope to do this month or in December and then I will be finished with the Mortal Instruments series and then I'll move on to the next one of her series, The uh, Infernal Devices. So the next series that I want to finish, should continue with, is entitled The Call of the Wild series by Laura Morgan. So I read the first book in this series, uh, which was entitled Wolf at the Door, from my book club a while back and I really loved it. So this follows an animal behaviorist named Grace Wilde who has the ability to psychically communicate with animals. So this is kind of a cozy mystery series and I believe that there are four books in total so I do want to get back to this series. So another series that I've started and have yet to finish is The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher. So this is an urban fantasy series which follows a wizard named Harry Dresden who investigates supernatural disturbances in modern day Chicago. Now in this series, magic is very real, as well as vampires, demons, spirits, uh, fairies, werewolves, and uh, other monsters. So I've read the first eight of these books, and I do believe there are 17 out in total. Or, no, there's 17 out now, but from what I understand, there's going to be 22 total, I think. <laughs> so yeah, I put this series down a couple of years ago because I read all eight of them right in a row and I admit I got a little bit burned out from that. So I thought, yeah, I'll take a little break from the Dresden Files. So I think it's time for me to pick it back up again. I'm ready to delve back in, but I'm not going to read them back to back. Next up is The Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn, which is a series of urban fantasy novels that follows Atticus O'Sullivan, a centuries-old shape-shifting druid who owns and runs an occult bookshop. Now his neighbors and customers think that this handsome, tattooed Irish lad is about 21 years old, when in actuality he's 21 centuries old. Oh, it's also worth mentioning that he has an Irish wolfhound that he can communicate with telepathically. So I guess we're seeing a theme here. So again, we see a variety of supernatural creatures uh, in, the, in the series of novels, which is vampires, werewolves, demons, elementals, as well as various deities from many mythologies. So actually, this is one of my favorite series, and I've read all eight of them, and I only have one more to go, Scourged, which was uh, just released this year. I think it was this year, yeah. And I've actually been putting it off because I don't want the series to end, and I do believe that this is the last book in the series. But it's time. So the next series I want to mention is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. This is an epic fantasy series which consists of two trilogies, the first era and the second era, which take place 300 years apart. So I'm working my way through the last book of the first trilogy, uh, the books entitled Hero of Ages, and I think I'm going to take a little break before delving into the second era. I am loving this series, however, and I'm not going to go into any detail with it because I've, I've already yammered on and on about this series already on this channel. So the next series up for consideration is the Shatter Me series by Tahira Mafi. So I only read the first book in this series. Now this is a, a, a dystopian thriller that follows our main character, Juliet, a 17-year-old girl who has a paralyzing and killing touch. She, when she touches people, she takes their energy, often resulting in their death. But the uh, re-establishment, which is the ruling government, sees her ability as an opportunity. An opportunity as a deadly weapon. So Juliet ends up reuniting uh, with someone from her past, part of a whole different organization, and now the future doesn't quite look so utterly hopeless as it did. Now this 
I thought it was a good book, though I don't know why. I wasn't blown away by it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on with this series. You know, I liked it enough, but I'm not sure if it's enough to make me want to continue. Have any of you uh, read the Shout at Me series? If so, what did you think? Uh, is it worth continuing on with it? So another series that I'm kind of up in the air about is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Again, I read the first book in the series and uh, I wasn't really blown away about it. And I've actually heard really mixed things about it. People either love it or they dislike it intensely. So how about any of you? Have you read it? Again, is it worth continuing? Now there are several series that I am caught up with at the moment and waiting patiently for the next novels to be released, such as the uh, Ark of the Scythe series by Neil Schusterman and the uh, Book of Dust series by Philip Pullman. Now I did have a couple of series on my list that I decided not to continue with. The first was the uh, Runebinder Chronicles uh, because I absolutely hated the second book and I ran I went over that in my uh, one of my monthly wrap ups I think it was last month. Um, and the other series that I decided not to continue with was The uh, Six of Crows. And though I don't know the sec name of the second book in this series, but I do believe this was a duology. So I read the quite lengthy first book and was so pissed off by the abrupt, rude, and unsatisfying cliffhanger that uh, I refused to buy the second one. You know, I really just don't like this gimmick at all. That is, having somebody buy your book and then only delivering part of a story so that the reader is forced to buy the next book and the next and the next and the next to find out how it all turns out. And I actually po posted a video a while back on my opinion about cliffhangers so I won't uh, berate that fact again. Oh and then another series comes to mind, The, the Lunar Chronicles as well. Again, read the first book, pissed off by the cliffhanger. So yeah, those are the series that I come to mind that I need to finish or I'm definitely not going to finish. So how about you? Uh, what series do you have yet to finish or have been meaning to get back to? Now I do have many series on my TBR shelves that I have not yet started and uh, you know, maybe that'll be a video for another time, series I need to start. So yeah, I think that's about it for now. As always, I thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. I really appreciate all your support. And speaking of liking, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate if you uh, click the like button below as it really helps me out. Also, uh, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell thingy. <laughs> this way you'll get notified whenever I release a new video. So yeah, so that's a wrap. I will talk to you in the next video. Roger and I.